Uh, welcome back uh, to the Minder Cracker. Hi ho, Nameless away. That's the unofficial name for my horse now. I think I'm gonna just call him Nameless because he has no name. I think he's uh, he must be a little bit slower than Perilous. He doesn't feel quite as fast. He's got a good a good jumping ability though. I haven't really tested it though. I know he can go at least two blocks, which isn't necessarily the best. Uh, I think he can go three blocks. So let's see if we can find some three blocks somewhere. Just do a little, uh, do a little spontaneous jump test here. Can you do three, jo three, three jocks? Can you do three blocks? Nameless. Are you as good as perilous at jumping? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're just in. Oh, yeah, he can do three blocks. Look at that. Three blocks. All right. Can you do three and a half? Let's. <laughs> this is now a jumping episode and a little jumping test. This guy right here. All my furnaces. They're not furnaces. This is a jumping test. So, uh, by the way, I've been working on the columns for the donut. It kind of looks like, and it's not supposed to, it looks a little bit like a cobra eating a intertube that you would, like, uh, go in the ocean in. Uh, it's not supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to look like there's, like, a, a co. It's not supposed to look like a cobra, where there's a hood flared up like this. And today what I want to do is try to get a, a good amount of work done on this dumb thing that's been a headache, a thorn in my side for so long. I think I know how we're going to do it. But first, let's see if uh, Nameless here can do three and a half. Okay, that was a big fail. Nope. Uh-oh. I don't know. What's he saying? Did he get hacked? That's not good. It's, I don't know what that has to do with, whoop. Okay, looks like, uh, yeah, okay, that, that time the bar was totally full. Okay, so you can do three blocks, but not three and a half. That's still pretty good. But you're not as fast as Perilous, so I don't think I want to name you. No, not till I get a horse that is, like, light speed, r r ludicrous speed fast will I want to name him and with a decent amount of hearts. But you'll do for now, until I get a good replacement. Okay, so this thing right here. I did some work updating it, if you remember what it looked like before. Actually, you can see what it looked like before, because this side is basically still blank. I've only been working on half of it, because it's kind of a waste of time to do both sides, until I decide exactly what to do. And I've been trying to match the style with those columns up there. And I think for the most part, it's looking pretty good. And I wanted to use these uh, redstone lamps somehow. Um, maybe if we have an item elevator, then they would turn on when there's items coming up. So you would see them flashing in a sort of upwards direction as items come up. But there's going to be no item elevator in this one because there's no room. Because we have the entrance right through the middle here. And then we have the ender ascender, which is... Uh, I still haven't decided exactly what to do with. I'm probably going to do the more complicated piston solution where the pistons come out and push something, uh, push blocks up to give you, whoa, why is that there? That's not right. Uh, to give you more time for that, but I'll worry about that another day. I've done some work redesigning this. You can see there's some problems <laughs> with the design right now. There's no room to hide redstone torches or any other type of block that would power these guys, levers or redstone blocks or anything. Um, so that's something we need to work on and there's no room at all for those guys up there because the thing is just too thin. But I think what I want to do now, I think it's going to solve that problem and it's going to solve the problem of this flared hood. I think what I want to do is I want to start bringing, um, bringing it out into the third dimension. It's kind of two dimensional right now. It's kind of flat. Uh, it's sculpted, but it's flat. It's a relief. It's a relief sculpture. There you go. Uh, but I want to bring these guys out. This light blue. It looks purple, but it's it's actually light blue. Uh, what well, I just call it purple. It's purple. You can call that light blue, but it's purple. I'm gonna bring this purple out um, at each level, and so that it lines up with this curve that I came up with a long time ago. 
and see if that doesn't improve things, give us a more pleasing shape for this guy. And uh, since I've got superpowers, I'm just going to use my I'm going to use my super spin attack and just have it be done instantaneously. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready go. Yep. 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 Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Yep. There we go. It is amazing having that button. I just press the button and my superpower magic cut time event thing happens and voila, progress has happened. Uh, I, I did some work. I did a little bit of work. It sort of looks like a stack of uh, like books or something, like rectangles. A stack of rectangles. I think it's kind of heading in the right direction, but it's definitely not finished. It doesn't look like a cobra so much anymore, which I guess is good. We still have the problem of the redstone lamps in the center here. I thought they would sort of spread out as we went up. Maybe as I work on this more and more, maybe we'll get to that point. I kind of got a little uh, to a point where I wasn't sure what to do, and I uh, walked away from the computer for several hours. Did other things, came back, and uh, did some more work. This side is starting to look okay. I'm trying to keep the detailing kind of consistent, but then we also have these crazy curves. It's a really complex, hard problem. Anyway, uh, we, we've done that for a while. Let's do something else. Let's pop up here. I've got my little building chest up here. Let's drop all the stuff into it. This, 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 this. Actually, uh, give me that dirt. Drop all this off. So I've been focusing on this one project for some time now. And we haven't really done anything but this one thing. Working on this, this big base. And I've been working on different parts of it, but still. it. Let's change it up just a little bit. I tend to get like so focused on doing one thing. It's like I get obsessed with it. I gotta finish it. And I think sometimes maybe it'd be good. Oh, oh, that's right. I was is stuff falling in right now, but no, the uh, the hoppers are full. Uh, let me go ahead and do this then. Get out of here. I think it's good to change it up every once in a while. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Rotten flesh, this is not your house. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna need 10 stacks. That is nine. What just happened? Bash fell from a high place. Whoopsie. And I still have not done any sort of item sorting down here. One day, one day we'll get to it. So I just pulled out 10 stacks of gunpowder. You can probably guess what I'd like to make. And back when I was still working on the Death Starter house, uh, I started doing this thing where uh, I was digging this giant kind of cavern, like the earth had cracked open, um, that was eventually supposed to link up with a ravine I found under my base. Uh, but we obviously left that place, it was a little too small, and the biome changed, so it wasn't snowing anymore. But I still want to do kind of a similar thing uh, where you can jump down from the top uh, all the way to the bottom. And I'd like to have like little different tiers and shelves and uh, different things underground. So we're going to carve out a space. Let's see, do I have a flint and steel and do I have any blast protection gear? There we go, blast protection four. That's probably good enough. Let's just put that on. Um, flint and steel, flint and steel, flint and steel. I don't see any. We'll have to make some, which is not a big deal. Uh, so in other news, it is the Christmas season, and so that... Whoop! Whoa. He's not doing so hot. He's been having, I think, lag issues. It is the Christmas season, and I've been trying to pre-record stuff... Uh, I'm going to be out of town visiting family for a few days, and I think most things will continue uh, without any kind of gap. I've pre-recorded Starbounds. Terraria will continue without pause. And not pause on pause, but I mean without a, a pause in uploading. Uh, there will probably be a few days around the end of December where there is no... 
Uh, a few days where there's no um, Kerbal Space Program, because that, that game takes a pretty long time to record, almost as long as Minecraft. I was wondering, the blast resistance is going to be kind of high here. Uh, so anyway, what I want to do, I want to sort of carve out a, a vertical funnel, if you will. We'll kind of have this drop shaft around the beacons. I want it to look a little bit more like a, a cavern or something has has opened up. And then eventually we'll, we'll be, we will be able to drop down uh, from any point up in this super base. We'll be able to jump down through the hole in the center here, which is why I left this hole here, all the way down into the mines. And so there'd be this huge vertical element. I mean, if you've been around for very long you know that I like vertical stuff so buckle up there we go that's number two now, I've got two stacks we'll see how far we can get I need to keep an eye on this and we may just have to uh, repair it I definitely don't want to break it I spent a lot of time getting a good set of armor together pow <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely good. A good change of pace. I get so focused on trying to finish one thing. Sometimes I, I don't switch it up enough. Um, I've been kind of trying to think of a, of a second project to start to break up um, all of my time spent here. Because anytime I'm here, I'm kind of always working on this. So I've been trying to think of a second project. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some building on the Play Mindcrack server, which is now in beta testing and should be open for everybody uh, fairly soon. If you don't know what that is, it's a, uh, it's a mini game server that Good and Old Man Willikers have been working pretty hard to set up. And also B00 and Arcus and uh, Beef have been doing some work uh, building some houses for the spawn area and stuff. And there's a number of mini games so far. They're going to be adding more. But there's a number. And you can also go around and look at the different season season maps of Mindcrack. Seasons 1 through 4. The season 4 map is like... I think it's a month behind schedule. It's a month out of date. Whoa, gosh. hey -o. What's my armor doing? Ow! Ow! I wonder, is is the damage to your armor, is it based on um, the damage before your armor mitigates the damage, or is it just the... Like, if I have all this blast protection on, will that make my armor last longer, or will it just make me take less damage? How does that affect your durabilities? But yeah, I think I'm going to do some building there. I haven't really talked to Good about it yet. I've been kind of busy around Christmas, and so it's it's not going to happen until, uh, I don't know, beginning of January or something. Kapow! And I know I'm not picking up all these blocks. I'm not too terribly concerned about that. Okay, let's put one there. And once I need to clear all these guys out, I will just... Whoops! I will, uh, oh, don't fall down that. I'll put the, uh, the, one of the beacons on, whatchamacallit, uh, haste. I'll put some haste on. Pow! All right, let's take a look, see what we did. Does this look like a face to anyone? Like, these are eyes, and these are the lips, and somewhat like the face, whoever this face is, they've stuffed their cheeks full of food. I think there should be a nose right there, but there's not. Okay, we're getting there. I think we need to speed up a little bit. So let's place a bunch at once. We need to we need to clear out this side as well. Put that there. There we go. This is one of the reasons I wanted a mob farm, so I could have TNT to uh, carve up some landscapes like this. I spent hours digging that uh, the sort of jagged canyon cavern thingy underneath the Death Starter house. It took me hours to carve that, and I spent so long like trying to get the zigzag to look just right. 
Uh, but I'd much rather do it procedurally. Just put a bunch of TNT down and see what happens. And whoops. Sort of make a... Oh, gosh. hi out. Ow. hi out. <laughs> okay. How's my stuff doing? It's still doing good. Pow. All right. I think at this point, let's try to set up a chain. All right. I think that is something like... 25 or so TNT. I don't know if they're all going to go off just from triggering one of them. Probably not, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. I I wasn't too specific when I set up the grid or whatever. Uh, let's just get out of here quickly, though. There's one. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're, they're not all going to go off at once. Uh, now let's try to get out. At least we, I, I want to get more than one at once. Oh, come on. Is that it? Is that all you got? I guess we're gonna have to run from one to another. Oh gosh, okay, I set that on fire. Oop, things are blowing up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's set on fire, great, lovely. Well, it's like giving it a fuse. Hey, maybe this is more fun anyway. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, I get it. Ow. Oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need a lot of TNT. At first, I was like, man, my, my mob farm's working pretty good. I've already got two stacks of TNT uh, just from letting it farm the creepers on its own. But I'm thinking at this point that, yeah, I want to mess around with a lot of TNT. And to do that, I'm going to need a more efficient mob farm. I'm going to have to switch it over to a piston pusher version. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that, though. <laughs> Who knows? All right, I'm going to set up round two. I think we'll do 30 for the next round. Okay, round two. I placed 30 this time, and I tried to place them much more, um, in a much more compact, dense pattern. Let's see, how am I going to get the heck out of here? Maybe I'll just ender pearl once I, sh once I light one. I think let's try this guy. No, let's try this guy, and then we're going to go up here, I guess. Hey oh, there we go. Oh, give me a break. Come on, I put them right next to each other. What a rip off. All right, fine. Jeez, you gotta do everything yourself. You want a job done right. Ow, ouch, oh, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, yeah, don't kill me, please. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think at this point, look at all of that clay. At this point, I think we need to go deeper rather than this thing keep getting bigger and bigger. I don't want it to be like a, a sphere shape. I don't want it to be big and round. I want it to go down. And later we can add some shelves and different layers. And I don't even know what's going to be on them. Some trees and grass and stuff and some, I, I don't know, some scenic stuff. Uh, most of the functional stuff, like all the farmy stuff, all the farms, all the animals are going to be in the, in the actual house. So maybe we'll just have some cool scenic looking stuff here. Down underneath. Kind of reminds me of my finished survival island build. I had all these underground uh, park type things. Okay, so I've got 40 left. Let's place, or 44. Let's place all 44. Actually, uh, let me see. Do I have any more? I mean, I know I used up 10 stacks of TNT. Oh. Got a little scared there. I know I used up 10 stacks of TNT. Or 10 stacks of gunpowder. I'm wondering if I have any more pre-built. Oh, I got 50. All right, let's use half of that, and we'll just... Or let's use a full stack. Let's use a full stack and reserve the rest for... I don't know, whatever we might need it for. Let me set this up. We're going to let it go all in one go. All right. 
Round number three, this is a full stack of TNT, and I really hope this does, does not blow up my beacons. I will be so upset if it does, but I think we'll be okay. I stopped five or six blocks above the beacons and put some cobblestone and stuff around it. I, th I think it's fine. Whatever. Let's, let's just see what happens, and let's find a good seat for the show. Oh my gosh! Oh! Yeah! Keep going! You go, girl! Don't blow up my beacons! Oh! Oh, crap! No, no, no! Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh! Phew! Oh! What was that? Oh, that was one of my chests! Uh, I had some uh, potions down here, because you when I only had one beacon, when I would switch it to haste, uh, I would sometimes take damage and need to heal. But now, now that I have two biggins, I don't need that anymore. Okay. Wow. It did blow up one of my biggins. Check that out. That is way more awesomeness. Awesomer. It's way... Hey. Spectator. Go watch from the stands. This is the... Uh, you're not allowed in this section. All right. Let's put my beacon back. Wow. That worried me just a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh. Is that the right position? I don't know if it is. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's that is correct. Uh because the the base is not filled out for all four beacons yet. And I happen to have some ingots, which I guess I picked up from that chest. Uh what do we already have? We have jump boost. We need regen. Um or no, we need speed and regen. There we go. I think that's what I had. Jump boost. Two, speed one, and regen. And then I should have, yeah, I picked up a chest, which goes there. Right? Or no, there were even more, which maybe are totally gone now. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, I mean, that's that's part of the fun of TNT is sometimes things get a little out of hand. Did I pick up a furnace? Nope. Okay, that furnace is gone. Whoops. Um, let's see. Let's replace these torches. Torch goes right there, I think. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, uh, I guess I will put... I had four double chests here, and one of them had cobblestone in it. But I guess I'll just put the potions back, and I'll take everything else upstairs. That was awesome. That was awesome. We definitely need to do more of that. And my ladder is mostly intact. Let's go look at it from above. I'm going to need to light it up real briefly. I'll do that off camera, though. Did I? Dang it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, let's grab that. Take a look at it. What it looks like. Look at all the ladders we blew off. And my ladder up to the, the house or, you know, the base, whatever you want to call it. It's got a name. I just haven't told you what it is yet because I'm, I'm a meanie pants. Oh, we did it again. Uh, the ladder up to the, the upper area, the super house, has definitely been at least partially destroyed. Okay, looks mostly unbroken here, except for, <laughs> except for this section here of like 15 blocks missing. Oh, there's a Skellers. Hello, Skellers. Skelton. Yo, oh, you're not dead. Whoa! Oh, man, he was... <laughs> he really wanted my flesh. He was intent. All right, let's light this up briefly and pick up these blocks. That was so cool! All right, I'm definitely converting... If there was even a question before, I'm definitely converting the mob farm over. Look at that. That's awesome. And we need some kind of water on the bottom so that I can jump down into the thing and not die, <laughs> basically. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of here. Whip. All right, and let's go up top to take a look. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Awesome. That's what two and a half or so stacks of TNT will do for you. Two stacks of Kaboom. 
There you go. That is pretty cool, and that's just the beginning. Uh, I will smooth it out. I want to keep it looking kind of natural, so I want to look like it's some kind of sinkhole or canyon or something like that. So uh, it's not meant to look like an explosion went off. That's just a fast way to clear out the terrain. Let's go a little bit higher and look at it from a higher perspective. I really need... Oh, hello. I really need to get some water down there so that we can start jumping down from all the way up here at the, the super heights from the high dive board. Yeah, very cool. Okay, and it's uh, it's not finished, obviously. We will need more TNT. We will need to convert this guy over to a piston method. I'll probably need to go caving for more iron to uh, make all those pistons. But I guess that is it for this episode. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Any feedback or whatever on, on uh, YouTube or Reddit or Twitter or whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, have a happy holidays. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.